Chapter 36 of Numbers might seem like a footnote, a legal addendum to a much larger story. But within these verses lies a powerful story of courage, faith and justice. It's the story of five sisters who dared to challenge the status quo. Zelophead from the tribe of Manasseh had died without sons. In that time, inheritance laws dictated that land passed down through male heirs. Zelophead's daughters were faced with a dilemma. They stood to lose their family's inheritance simply because they were women. But these women were not content to accept their fate passively. They approached Moses, the leader appointed by God, and presented their case. They argued that it wasn't fair for their father's name to be forgotten just because he had no sons. They deserved to inherit their father's land. Their courage and boldness did not go unnoticed. Moses took their case before God himself, and God in his infinite wisdom and justice listened. He agreed with the daughters of Zelophehad. They had a right to their father's inheritance. God didn't just stop there. He used this situation as an opportunity to establish a new precedent. He declared that if a man died without sons, his daughters would inherit his land. This was a radical departure from the norm. It was a victory not just for Zelophead's daughters, but for women throughout Israel. However, God also recognized the need for balance and order. He added a stipulation. The daughters of Zelophehad could inherit their father's land, but they had to marry within their own tribe, Manasseh. This ensured that the land allotted to each tribe remained within that tribe, maintaining the integrity of the tribal boundaries. This detail might seem insignificant at first glance, but it speaks to God's concern for both justice and order. He wanted to ensure fairness for the daughters of Zelophehad while preserving the social and tribal structures he had put in place. This story reminds us that God cares about the details of our lives. He cares about fairness and justice. He cares about preserving order and preventing chaos. And he is always willing to listen to the cries of those who are marginalized or overlooked. The daughters of Zelophehad stand as a testament to the power of courage and persistence they refused to accept an unjust situation. They boldly approached those in authority and presented their case. And in doing so, they not only secured their own inheritance, but also helped shape a more just and equitable society for generations to come. The story of Zelophehad's daughters is a powerful reminder that God sees us. He hears our cries. And you know, he is always working to bring about justice and righteousness. Their story is an inspiration to all who seek to live out their faith with courage and conviction. Their names, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah, are forever etched in the pages of scripture. They remind us that God can use anyone, regardless of gender or social standing, to accomplish his purposes. Their story also challenges us to examine our own lives and our own communities. Are there, there are places where we need to be more courageous in standing up for what is right? Are there injustices that we've become too comfortable with? Are there voices being silenced that we need to amplify? Chapter 36 concludes the Book of Numbers. It marks the end of the Israelites' journey through the wilderness and their arrival at the border of the Promised Land. This book, often associated with wandering and wilderness, ends with a promise fulfilled. The daughters of Zelophead, through their courage and faith, received their inheritance. Their story serves as a reminder that God is faithful to his promises. He will provide for his people, he will fight for them, and he will bring them into the land he has prepared for them. This message of hope and promise resonates deeply with us today. We too are on a journey navigating the complexities and challenges of life. Like the Israelites, we experience moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty. But Numbers 36 reminds us that God is with us. He is our guide, our provider, and our defender. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will see us through to the end. He will bring us into the fullness of his promises. The story of Zelophead's daughters also highlights the importance of engaging with scripture actively. It's not enough to simply read the Bible passively. We need to wrestle with it. We need to ask questions. We need to allow it to challenge our assumptions and perspectives. When we approach scripture with open hearts and minds, we discover that these ancient texts are filled with timeless truths. We find stories of faith, courage, and justice that continue to speak to us today. Are you ready for the next chapter? Just click here to go straight to it.